Hey, this is Dave. Thought I would make a video um, for those of you out there that ever experienced this. Um, I spent hours trying to fix it, and one day I actually found a solution to it. I don't know if anybody had a solution, but I, I maybe figured it out myself. But um, happens a lot now. Um, every time I reset my Internet Explorer, um, and when you do that, every time I go to YouTube, I'm not logged in there anymore. Um, you always get a message with, um, I'll show you, I'll go in there and can't log on. It says something's wrong. Um, but there, there's a setting in Internet Explorer, and I, and I believe it always happened on that. And, you know, I've tried all the browsers. I end up just getting stuck with Internet Explorer 11. I have a Lenovo laptop, which is a 64-bit um, operating system, Windows 7, and this is what it all, it, it happens all the time, like I said, because uh, sometimes you have to reset your Internet Explorer when you do, this happens in YouTube, so I'll show you what happens. Um, I've reset my Internet Explorer now, and um, rebooted the computer, so I'm pretty sure it's going to do it, so you can just watch here as I open it up. <clears throat> So when I open up Internet Explorer, um, um, I will use the recommended compatibility thing. So I'll hit OK. Then, you know, every time you reset it, you lose all of the, the, the menu bar on the top and the favorites bar. And a lot of people, I don't know, I think this stuff shouldn't be running, but... Um, and I use Norton Identity Safe Toolbar because I like all my passwords in there. But um, now that I got that in there, let's go to YouTube now, which I have saved up here. And when I go to sign in, see, I always get this. There was an issue signing you into YouTube. Troubleshoot here. Okay. And... If you ever get this message, I mean, it may not be anything wrong with your flash play or anything like that. It's just a, it's a setting that's up here. Go under tools, go to internet options, and go to security. It's where it is. And this enable protection mode, if you click it there, which is under trusted sites, and it's under local intranet too, there, and it, those are the two that aren't enabled. If you hit apply and click OK, then just go back to sign in up here. All of a sudden, um, now of course this comes up here, but notice up here, that's my face up there. I really am logged in. So if I click to another site and go back to um, MSNBC or MSN and then go back to um, YouTube, um, it's not there. Now I'm logged in. Here's all my rec recommended sites. And I'm logged in and good to go. So I hope if any of you get that and you can't figure out why, um, that may be the reason. And, and it's a simple thing just under tools, internet options, and under security. Just making sure all of these enable protection modes are all checked between intra, local, trusted, and restricted. And hit apply and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching and have a great day.